my savior's side Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible verse for today and for the whole month of March is from Luke 22, 19. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us confess our faith. I believe in God the Father, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ our Lord, who crucified died and rose from the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Moving on, moving on, moving on in faith. Trusting Jesus everywhere I go, that his love will light the way. Your words, a lamp that lights the darkest night when can find my way. Your ways are better than the plans I make, so I won't be afraid. Because you're good, I know it. Your faithfulness you show me every day, in every way. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust.
The Bible lesson today is Jesus washes feet and it is taken from the, the book of John chapter 13. So let's read the story from our Bible story book. You open up the Bible story book on page 249 and you will find Jesus washes feet. Let's read. The friends watched as Jesus got up from the table and tied a towel around his waist. Then Jesus poured water into a big bowl. The friend watched as Jesus began to wash their feet. Jesus, what are you doing? asked Peter. I don't want you to wash my feet. It's the job of servant to wash feet. It's not your job. You are our teacher. Peter, said Jesus, it is important that I wash your feet. So Peter let Jesus wash his dirty feet. When Jesus finished washing everyone's feet, he took a towel and put away the bowl of water. Don't you understand why I did the job of a servant and washed your feet? asked Jesus, shaking his head. No, said Peter and his friend, shaking their heads. I wanted to show you God's love, said Jesus. So even though I'm your teacher, I did the job of servant and washed your feet, said Jesus. I want you to serve others just like this. So this is the story of today's lesson. And let us all watch the video now. Greetings, friends. I'm Abigail. In our Bible story today, Jesus washes all of his disciples' feet. Their feet were dirty from walking outside because everyone wore sandals. Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, thought this was too strange. He didn't want Jesus to do it at first. Even though washing feet wasn't Jesus' job, Jesus wanted to do this to show care and love. By reading this story, we remember how Jesus loved his disciples. To remember is to think about and not forget our faith. It is important for us to remember so that we follow the awesome example that Jesus lived. We get to be a part of the story by adding new ideas for how to serve and show love. When we think about what Jesus did in this story, we see what faith looks like. Faith looks like helping, serving, and loving. Sometimes doing these things surprises others, but that's not a reason to stop doing them. Last year during lunch, I noticed there was a kid who was always eating alone. I always ate with my friends and I wanted him to have friends too. One day, I decided to go and eat with a kid who was alone and my friends didn't understand. My best friend said, why are you doing that? After a few lunches, my friends wanted all of us to sit together they realized we could all show love. My new friend now had a whole group of friends. I was able to show Jesus' love at school by making sure everyone had a friend. When we remember that Jesus washed feet, we remember to live with love and to live with faith. No matter who you are, you can follow Jesus' example. We can all love and serve in some way. We won't all wash feet, but we can all do something that shows someone that we care about them. Now, it's time for you to wonder. The theme for the story is serving others, but also it is remembering how Jesus served his disciples. I had a ritual with my daughters when they were younger, like teenagers. So whenever we were away from home and staying in hotel at night, after we take shower, my daughters and I got together and with the massaging oil, we did the foot massaging instead of foot washing. And it felt good when I uh, massaged my daughters, but it felt super good when they massaged my feet. So this week, Jesus is telling us to wash others' feet. Washing feet has two meanings. It can mean it is washing feet. You can wash others' feet. And it also means serving others. So Jesus was telling his disciples 
to serve others, whether through food washing or some other things. So we are to remember that Jesus is telling us to serve others. So this week, every time you wash your feet or you wash your hands, remember that Jesus loves us very much and He wants us to serve others. All right, let us pray. Hear us as we pray. God, thank you for showing us how to serve others. Help us to remember that you serve. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now it is our time to respond to God with offering. So let us pray for the offering. Dear God, thank you for our worship. We brought gifts to you. Bless them and accept them. May they be used in your good ministry through our church. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, we will close our worship with Lord's Prayer and we can do with the sign language. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. So children, our worship is over. And at Zoom, we have more than one activity today. We will light a candle to remember Jesus' presence. And we have a fish bowl. And so instead of washing feet or hand, um, you can pour water in there. And while you hear water pouring, uh, you can remember Jesus who washed his disciples' feet. And so on the fishbowl, we are going to write remember with marker or uh, acrylic paint and we'll decorate the word. And uh, because today's worship was about washing feet, I made little foot to paint. So we will paint the foot and remember Jesus who washed the feet and remember that we need to serve each other. Okay, children, I will see you all in Zoom. Until next week, uh, be safe and be good. All right, bye children.